Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Microsoft Edge and other Chromium-based web browsers, then just to let you know that Microsoft yesterday on the 11th of July has announced support in Edge and Chromium browsers for SVG files in the Async Clipboard APR, which um, up until this announcement wasn't the case. So basically what this means in a nutshell is um, copying and pasting SVG data across any app uh, that wants to use SVG is now possible whether it's native or web. So basically if it's a native app on Windows or a web app, you can now copy and paste SVG um, across those different platforms, which I think is a nice step in the right direction. Now basically um, what this is all about, and if you're wondering what Async Clipboard APR is, just a quick overview uh, just to get us all on the same page. The Clipboard APR uh, gives the ability to respond to clipboard commands like cut, copy, and paste, as well as to read from and write to the system clipboard. So that's basically what the clipboard APR is all about, in case you were unaware. Now, getting back uh, to this announcement uh, by Microsoft, um, they have mentioned that SVG images are a great option for rendering high-quality visuals and graphics on the web, as you may well know. And the reason um, why they can render these high quality visuals is they, they're they space efficient and the image quality isn't affected when resizing the image. So that's why they can render high quality visuals and graphics on the web. But the problem is when it comes to handling SVG image formats in apps, um, this is where the story changes a little bit. Now, first of all, native apps are designed to support SVG files work um, a lot better with them than they were previously over on the web. So as an example, um, you can copy an SVG file from the Windows Explorer and paste it into the Microsoft PowerPoint um, or the other way around. Now, when it comes to um, the web using Microsoft Edge, as an example, prior to this announcement, on the web, the legacy data transfer APR, which is used to obtain the data stored in the clipboard, apparently didn't have built-in support for SVG type files. So this made it difficult for web apps to support copying or pasting SVG content. And this is where um, Microsoft has implemented this change now. And I know that's a bit of a mouthful, but just to cut to the chase, um, if we head over to a demo provided, and I'll leave this um, linked down below and in the end screen. Now, this doesn't, on my screen, it doesn't uh, show up quite clearly when it's in dark mode. So I'm just going to have to quickly pop my screen onto light mode and I'm sorry for the bright screen but here we go it says your browser supports SVG format in the async clipboard APR so this is now available uh, in Microsoft Edge as we can see and just to test this out you click the copy button below to write the SVG content to the system clipboard so there we go copy and you can paste that and there we go we know obviously that the browser now supports that format which I think is a step in the right direction and this will apply to uh, other chromium based web browsers like brave i've tested it in brave it works that would apply obviously to google chrome to vivaldi to opera i uh, don't know about arc and um, go check it out if you are using arc but nonetheless other chromium based web browsers according to microsoft now if we head over to firefox which is a non and not a chromium based web browser as you may well know um, if we head to the same demo, I don't know if you can see that in the video, it's got a kind of a red pinkish banner here. It says your browser does not support reading or writing SVG to the clipboard. So um, Firefox does not support SVG as we can see. And even if I try to copy, nothing happens. And if I paste, nothing happens. So Firefox doesn't have that ability. But the good news is now that um, Edge and other Chromium based web browsers um, can now copy and paste SVG data across any app that wants to use SVG according to Microsoft, whether it's a native or web app, and that's all now possible. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.